Oh look, look, a flashing pigtail again. No, well, we're back in the cab and we've got yet another flashing pigtail. But this one is a, a surprise. This is the one I was talking about in the last video. Um, the auxiliary pump for the EGR, the EGR recirculating pump. That's been playing up, been a bit noisy. Um, I thought it was on its way out. I think by changing the other pump, it's highlighted that there's an issue on this one. So, yeah, probably check it out on the on the reader and we'll see what comes back. There you go in the pending codes, it's P261A and when you search that it comes back with the recirculating pump and the auxiliary pump, B pump, whatever you want to call it, EGR cooling pump. We've got one, we're going to fit that tonight but I'll, uh, I'll show you where it is on the van, I'll show you what I'm going to do first, before we actually fit this we're going to plug it in and make sure that it actually works. Just something I thought that we should maybe clear up pretty much right from the offset. There's three pumps on your crafter. The main pump that's on the block and then you've got two auxiliaries. Now I'm going to show you where the auxiliaries are so you know. The first auxiliary is the one that we're just about to replace and that's down there. The second this one's known as auxiliary pump B, EGR, um, EGR pump, uh, circulation pump. There's lots of different names for it. This one here, it's just in the back of there. Got a light. That one, that is <laughs> there. Can we focus on that? That one there is for your heater matrix. Now if you look, you can just see there's two wires going to that. So that one isn't monitored. That one there just circulates all the time. So when you fire your van up, if you don't put the ignition on, if you put the key in and turn it on, you're not going to hear anything other than that pump circulating. The one that's down here, the most important one of the two auxiliary pumps I would say. This one does monitor and this is where you'll get the fault and on the plug there are three cables. That's how we know it's monitored and when you get a, an engine fault code back that is the one that it's talking about. That is the one that's communicating with the ECU. So that's the one you want to change. Morning, uh, another early start to the day, half past five. I need to do, <laughs> I didn't really get done what I wanted to do last night. I still need to check this new pump, make sure that's working. Um, so before I go to work, I'm just going to disconnect the, um, the plug, plug it into the pump, make sure it clears the fault. I'm off to the Overland Show tomorrow. Um, I'm leaving everything quite, quite close to the wire. So for peace of mind today, I just want to know that this clears a fault. When I go from work tonight, I'll swap it all out. But um, just going to remove the water bottle, get that out of the way, um, so we can see what we're doing, and that'll also help us later when we when we purge the system of air. So we'll move that now, and I'll show you where the auxiliary pump is located, and I'll we'll just do a quick test, make sure it clears. Okay. Okay, Tox 25 out of there, and I've stuck it in there, my usual little hiding place. What we're going to do now is just unclip quite a bit of this pipe work, just so we can move the bottle around. <coughs> just need to unplug that cable there. Which should just be a pinch and a pull. Yep, and that's just free. I've got a little clip down here that's holding us back, so we'll just release that and stick. <laughs> yeah, the joys of trying to video and work at the same time. Right, that will do us for now, I think. So that allows us to see the pump, the pump is there. This is the 
plug we need off now. Um, how the hell do we get that plug off? So it was a little bit stuck. Um, what you've got to do is get that grey clip pulled back and then it pops off. Right, now we're in this position. Let's stick the new pump on. Just prise off. Pop that in there as well. Right, can I get that? Let's get that out of there. Can I get a better look at that now? Pull that in there like that. Should have, should have, should have dropped it. <laughs> that was definitely on. See there. So we're just going to do, excuse me, sniffing and snorting like a pig. So we just want to sit that somewhere comfortable. So we'll just leave it there for now. Leave it there, go and check the ignition. Right, moment of truth. Just click that on. Remember we had a, a flashing pigtail? <laughs> it's gone off. It's gone off. Right, obviously I don't want to start it up yet because things aren't connected up. Well I can I think. Ah, there you go, there you go, there you go. So nothing there. Let's check this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> right. Let's go to there. Read codes. Store codes. Nothing. Pending. Um. So. We need to clear that, don't we? Let's go back. It is good. Coolant level check, yeah, we've got that unplugged, haven't we? So let's not worry about that. So erase codes. From module. Oh, I'm all giddy. I'm all giddy. Right, let's do this again. Race codes. Yeah, it, it says that quite a lot, doesn't it? So, read codes, um, pending codes, no pending codes. Cool. A clear dash. Anyway, hopefully this is the end of our wars. Um, hopefully we have a trouble-free summer. We've done all the graph, we've done all the donkey work, we've got it. We've got it to a position where I'm happy with it. I've got to take it down the motorway tomorrow. We're off to uh, Stratford. Go and see you guys at the Overland Show, and uh, say hello if you see us. If you're a subscriber, definitely come and see us. I should have some new stickers with me, just for subscribers. Um, it's a little thing I want to do. I want to say thank you, and uh, you know, try and try and reward you guys for the unconditional support that you give me. All the nice comments, all the prayers. It really does go a long way. So it's time to give some it back. Anyway, we'll get this done tonight, and we'll have a we'll have a good weekend. Hopefully, see you later. Okay, let's get these pipes off, if I can. <laughs> Everything seems to be tight down there. I've already 
moved that top one up that should be enough for us to get where we need to be so there's three screws um, they're located there there and there they're quite a, they look like little torques I'm gonna have a look at that one as well because this bracket looks like it's all pushed over so this is a T20 my stool slipped I don't want to take that all the way out I just want to see if it moves that bracket back over it does look it all looks to be it looks bent <laughs> no that's right there's another screw further down it's just on a weird angle isn't it right let's see if these are T20s as well, no they're much smaller right they are T10s so away you go right there we go three it's off cool right we've got it free now all we have to do now is uh, unfree these pipes we need to release these pipes off and usually they end up welding themselves to each other so I got a little pick and tool, um, an engineer scribe, whatever you want to call this. Uh, I try and work my way underneath and just round to try and free things off. I'm going to drop a little bit of fluid, but um, I wouldn't expect it to be too much, to be honest. Right, that's that one done, I would say. This one here, we're going to struggle with, I think, because it's very close to the body. I might just have to work that one off. Try and free it up a little bit. Yeah, that's moving. That's moving well, that. Oh yeah, we've got plenty of movement there now. Right. So just to help us a little bit, so we don't lose too much fluid, we're gonna clamp these pipes. I don't want anything siphoning away. In fact, I'm gonna move that pipe. Go try and get these separated. There you go. I'll lift that pipe up out of the way. Now we are getting a bit of water back from somewhere else, so um, can I clump that pipe lower down?
trying to get that pipe on properly. After that, let's keep these two cables out of the way for now. Right, what we need to do now is just line this pump back up and then start bolting it all back up again. I just want to make sure I've got everything in the right place. I think I need to just twist that a little bit further. What I've been doing is tightening them up um, it a little bit at a time so I don't end up pulling or cross threading if, or damaging the pump housing when I'm putting it all together. So we're nearly there now. Are we happy? Does that look good? Yes, yes. Let's have a little look at our end. Yes, everything's dry. Just checking, making sure there's no fluid in them before I plug them in. Push the cable back under. Let's give this a little wipe off. Clean. Good solid collection. Let's get all this pipe work back out now. Stuffed away. <laughs> Okay, time to start putting everything back together, I think. There you go, we didn't lose a lot. What if I just knocked off the, not the old pump? Oh yeah, let's listen to this. Let me take these glasses off. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Listen to this. <laughs> Not good, is it? I think it's knackered. Uh, into the bin it goes. So yeah, that has been playing up for a little while. Um, Obviously I had bigger fish to fry last week, so we've got that job done now, so now we're going to fire it up and uh, check our levels. So we'll keep an eye on this level, we're going to fire it up now and uh, see if that drops any. We didn't lose a lot, I'm hoping it uh, just circulates quite quickly and sorts itself out. I'll put the top back on anyway. Well, actually I'll leave the top off, let any bubbles get out if they need to get out. Look at this. I keep forgetting to do shit like here. I forgot to put that bolt back in there, haven't I? Good job I checked up there. Good job you guys were with me. I'd have forgot that. <laughs> right, let's get on and tighten that up. Job done. And it's rusty. 
maybe need to think about changing that out before it becomes a problem well it's a time of day again scary time we'll uh <laughs> we'll turn it on and see how she behaves give it a couple of seconds got the lights off oh yes just keep watching Keep hoping, nothing changes. Fingers crossed, that's, uh, that's what's done. I need to go and wash my hands, I'm covered in, uh, covered in coolant. But I've just been talking to Richard um, from Rich B's Adventures. We're meeting up, uh, there's a, quite a lot of us attending the uh, Overland and um, Camper van, international camper van show tomorrow at Stratford and uh, this this is what I've been working towards um, I believe we're there now I believe we've solved the problem um, still got that little seal to fit but uh, I don't see that being a big problem tonight it's a 10 minute job so we'll get that done get that out of the way and we're all hunky dory but uh, it's a bit of a relief it's nice to have no lights on that dashboard. You know, the last couple of videos have really pushed me. Um, <laughs> really pushed us to the limit, to be honest. Um, but we're fixed, we're back on the road. Now we need to get some miles under our belt. Anyway, that's us. Let's go and check this, uh, check the fluid, let it warm up, and uh, we'll check the fluid levels. So while we're in here, I'm gonna swap out this uh, heat recirculating pump. It was making a, a noise the other day. Um, it, it's been noisy for a little while, so while I'm doing work on the engine, I thought I'd swap it out. So I've got a new one here. We just clamped the two pipes. We've moved the clips back. So I'm just gonna swap that out quickly now and we'll fire it back up. See how it runs. So, so quiet. That engine just purrs now. It's, it just ticks over nice and quiet. Um, it's done a lot of work done to it, mine, in the last 12 months. New egg gasket, new everything on the top end, new kind of mount, new water pump. Two new auxiliary pumps now. New turbo, twice. <laughs> yeah, we're there, we're done. Fingers crossed, that's it. We'll have a few Forty three miles now. Happy days! <laughs> right, we've had it running now for the last half hour. The coolant is up to about 90 degrees now and everything's open. Everything's working fine. We lost a little bit of fluid, not a lot. Um, not enough to even make a difference this end, so um, I've topped it up ever so slightly and that's it. Job's a good one. We're going to take it for a run, I'm going to finish off cleaning it first and we're going to take it for a run and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything's good. Thank you for your continued support. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing, liking and sharing with your friends. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.